What's going on my brothers? In today's video, we are going to be getting 105 kilograms for 5 reps. I'm going to be doing this on the bench. Now, last time I did chest, which was on Wednesday, today's Friday, so two days ago, I managed to get 105 kilograms for 3 reps. And today, I'm going to be upping that to 5. Now, I believe I can do this because I've taken two days rest. I haven't exercised for two days, but I've done a bit of yoga. Um, I've done a little run as well, but not really exercise, you know, just like a bit of cardio and a bit of relaxation, really. So I'm feeling pumped up, ready to go. I've drunk so far three quarters of my pot of coffee. So I'm feeling, oh, I'm going to try the gear team for this. So I'm feeling uh, energised, you know. I've eaten a lot of food for my tea. I had a chicken thigh, a chicken leg, a chicken wing, and then I had chicken fried rice, <laughs> which had in that chicken breast, egg, soy sauce, peas, onions, and rice. So yeah, I've eaten a lot and uh, it feels nice, it feels good in my body. I feel like we've got loads of energy. I've also been eating a lot of fruit recently because whilst I was in Peru, I noticed that Latin Americans love to eat fruit with leche, so platano con leche or manzana con leche. And it's very nice. It's essentially just milk, sugar, and whatever fruit, and you just blend it all together. My favorite was platano con leche. Now, I've been Drinking that after each meal I have. Uh, well, after breakfast and tea. I don't really eat lunch normally, so after breakfast and tea. So it's a lot. <laughs> uh, a lot of calories to put in my body, as well as a protein shake, because I have a protein shake with every meal. So it's a lot. Not the best for your kidneys, I can imagine, but yeah. So I have the protein content in. And get the calories in as well. Which really at this point in the bulk is the most important thing. Because I, I noticed I'm, I'm getting bigger, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting big. Uh, and I want to carry that upward trend on, keep the momentum going. So, just in my warm up, you saw what I do it's the standard regular bench press, kind of guillotine -y press, and then close grip for my triceps as well, just working the chest, shoulders, and then the triceps. Now I'm going to start loading the weight up and then we'll get going with the workout. Let's go into it. Once again, I'm going to be doing the first warm up set without any real leg engagement. I'm just going to be kind of benching from my chest only. And the idea here is that it's warming my chest, exclusively my chest, up. Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh. And this is the last bit of my pot of coffee. In that pot, I put a fuckload of coffee in. There's probably around three tablespoons worth of instant coffee. So what I do is, throughout most of the day, I drink uh, natural coffee from ground coffee beans. And then when it comes to the gym, I just put instant coffee in there. I find myself just glugging it down. So what I think is just get the cheapest shit, the easiest shit, thing, something I can just whack in a bowl or a pot, add boiling water to, and then just drink straight away. And that's instant coffee. So I tend to drink that. I forgot to put the other 10 up. So now I'm gonna get 80. I'm not gonna go for crazy amount of reps. I'm gonna have some leg engagement. This is managed just to warm my lower back up because something I did last set or last session, sorry, is I did chest and my lower back, I almost pulled it because I was doing the arch in my back, which is fine, but I didn't stretch my back at all. I just went straight in. 
And so what I'm doing now is I'm going to be doing this and then on the next set I'm going to be taking a rest and doing some back and hip stretches. Just to ensure that there's no issue with, with pulling my back because that would just be a travesty. You know, getting back from injury, everything going well with regards to training and then get injured again because you were too lazy to stretch. It would be a joke. was like, that felt like 60 kilograms. That was, that was just, I could have left that on my chest for two minutes and just flowed it up. Easy. I'm not going to bother with the 102.5. I'm just going to go up to 105. Sorry, back on the level. You know we talk to my crotch. I'll just go for the 105 and I'll just go for five reps. I'll put free bird on again and then I'll get, I'll get ready. All right, see you guys in five minutes. I'm gonna give myself five minutes rest. Enough time for the old uh, muscles to recover whilst keeping my CNS fried up. So, yeah, see you guys in five minutes. I'm going to get 105 kilograms of five reps. There it is, 105 kilograms of five reps. Nice. Feels good. You know it feels good. All right, boys. Quick tip: when you're choosing your PR song, you should always go for something that invokes. Feelings from within you. Don't just go for whatever your friends listen to. Don't just go for pop music. Listen to something that speaks to your soul. Listen to something that invigorates you, uplifts you, makes you want to, to, to reminisce on old times, yet embrace the new ones. These may be strange songs. I listen to Ed Sheeran. When I'm going for a PR, I listen to Ed Sheeran. I have, I've had Thinking Out Loud, One, I've got Carson on the Hill right now. Because I like it. I used to listen to it when I was 12, when I had a heartbreak, when I was dreaming about the future. Now I'm in that future and I'm doing exactly what I want. I mean, I'm exactly who I wanted to be. Listen to those songs that speak to you, okay? Don't just choose the rap songs, the pop songs, the rock songs. Choose a song that invokes something from within you. No matter how weird or strange or wonderful it may be, yeah. That's just what I recommend when you go for PR songs. You don't always need them. A PR comes down to your mindset, but a skunk and a good song at that can definitely help. Okay. I'll start with my PR. Well, this isn't a PR. I've just got my PR last set. Five reps of 105. This is now going to be four reps. And then next set I'll get three reps. So after I get two, the last set I'll get one. One works down by the coast. One had two kids but lives alone. One's brother overdosed. 
One's already on his second wife. One's just barely getting by, but these people raised me and I can't wait to go home. I'm on my way. I still remember these old country lanes where we did not I was only meant to get four, <laughs> but on the fourth rep I felt good, so I thought why not try five. I failed it, and thank God for these. <sighs> Otherwise I'd be dead. I'd be, I'd have died twenty times over by now. I'd have crushed my skull, I'd choked myself. Or... <sighs> I think I uploaded a short about th three weeks ago where I said don't put clips on the bar. And I'm benching with clips on the bar for, for heavy reps. Big mistake. I'll take them off. <laughs> I'll take them off. Alright, <laughs> so that's four. Next set, we're gonna get through. That was a challenge. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. All right. That was intense. It was a good session. Um, I'm absolutely fried now. What I'm going to do to finish up the, the session is just do some light chest flies. I'm just going to do maybe 15 reps, 12 reps, however many I feel I want to do until I get appropriate squeeze on the inner chest. You know, I want to squeeze and I want to feel the separation as I come out and the contraction as I come in. So that's what I'm going to do to finish off. Um, I won't talk at the end of the video, but instead I'll just leave that clip playing. So if you enjoyed the video, then get involved with the channel, you know, I've got 14 subscribers now, which means there's 14 of you guys out there, plus any new viewers. Um, let's get some community interaction going. I, I talk oftentimes throughout my videos. If you've got any thoughts on what I'm saying, share it with me. I want to know what you guys think. So, yeah, leave a comment, get involved. And until next time, hasta luego.
That feels absolutely splendid.